after a much needed and relaxing few days stay here La Quinta we're checking out hot caffeinated beverage essential for the road it's time to take our leave see the Plattsburgh water tower there in the distance gorgeous sunny day as we begin our trek home and cross the border to Canada but we'll have a little fun on the way so come along grab yourself a hot caffeinated beverage and we'll try to catch some cool back road stuff if we're taking the back roads I really don't know which way we're going as of yet so come along just heading over to a store with James someone I've been hanging out here for a few days with in Plattsburgh wearing a light blue Weird Al shirt I generally would not wear because I don't like to get stuff on white or light colored things and it never fails the lid for the coffee was not what I would call secure and a tiny little driplet is stained forever it's pretty cool walking under here I was walking around here last night That is the time. Just about ten. Gorgeous day. Beautiful. This gentleman's backside of his truck here says stand for the flag kneel for the cross supporting the cross and the flag on the back of his truck pretty cool see a wonderful shot of the mountains there in the distance still caffeinating up here I was looking for a moon pie they have escaped me I cannot find any in Maine or New Hampshire or anywhere in New York here my hunt for a moon pie continues brings me to right beneath old glory and the beautiful New York Sun I think a Dollar Tree or the market give me the best bet then go with the Dollar Tree see if I can find a regular moon pie okay let's check it out melting into the snack zone now see some Many, many delicious options. Privy to corn nuts. And moon pies are continuing to escape me. Cheese balls. I've been looking for moon pies store after store with them escaping me. Oreos. I guess is we're not gonna find them here either. I might have to substitute. <gasps> Alright. We have found boxes of moon pies. All right, all right. So do I go with the chocolate or the vanilla? Really, dollar twenty-five for a box? Now, are these regular size? You get six mini moon pies. Moon pies since 1917. Okay, we finally found them. I don't know. Should I go with the chocolate or the vanilla? Dollar twenty-five really isn't bad. I should grab it before it's gone. Wow, I love those two buddy bars. Crunch and munch. I think I'm gonna opt to go for a box of white and a box of the chocolate ones, because I haven't had either, so. And I guess if I don't like them, I can always get them away. Moon pies in the bag. I gotta head back and I guess I can skip the market. I need to head back to the hotel. Perhaps down another hot caffeinated Java. And it's time to be moving on towards the border. 
taking our exit from Plattsburgh. It's been swell. It's been a heck of a stay. I finally found the moon pie. side stream down here what's even cooler in front of all these planes not too far from Malone New York is this look at this I had to pull over and get this nice little streams here very scenic look at these ruins and I have to walk up to this I gotta check this out doc this looks too cool the Robinson's Tavern of 1823, erected here by Lewis Sage Robinson. In 1810, the original Log Tavern visited in 1817. It was a tavern that burned. Wow. So cool. The town of Chazzy. Until 1857, these sites were a part of the town of Chazzy. It appears it's surrounded by swampland. Probably stupid of me to try to traverse through here. Oh, you know what? It was just some of the water runoff from the stream. Look at this. We'll get a couple good things on the journey home. Didn't think we'd be getting. You can see some of those cool windmill things. Side of the road, look at that. Looking in the windows of history. Wow, look at that. Let's see where the fireplace was. Looking through the window, it pulled over on the side of the road up here. Had to get this quick, no doubt. This is a tavern that burned down, and there's the other fireplace here. Wow, too cool. Look at these, the size of those. Or something. Look at the brick. Wow, look at that. Inside the chimney there. It's a big fireplace. On both sides of the ruins. This is crazy. Pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Take a traverse around once real quick. Uh, how gorgeous it is out there. Back behind these abandoned ruins now. Look at this. That is too cool. This I had to stop by and check. Very cool. Okay, we must be getting back out on the road. Look at that. Burned down window here. Trees growing right out of it. Look at this. Stone brick wall all the way to the top. Very cool. Still in New York here. Pushing away, pushing towards Malone. Yeah, had to check this out. Super cool. So much stuff out here to see out in the country. I wish I could make more stops, but like I said, not really my choice. 
Maybe we can get a couple more decent ones in there. I just love that. It was an old Coca-Cola mural or sign or Pepsi sign relic like that. Old rusted pole. Might as well get it in there. Obviously, Dan's Auto Service and Grocery appears to have closed up here. It's abandoned. Got some like relics here. Christmas lights in that uh, box. Wow. Anything. Okay, it's perfect. It's snag something in there. This old thing here has obviously been out of use for decades. The rusted metal on that. Oh, and this old, we are in Amish land here, really, so it's one of those old field flower things. At least a portion of it rusting out. Approaching Pine Grove Cemetery. I love the American flag there. Pine Grove Cemetery. Let's see what we find over here. Nice setups here. Little truck. Truck has a tree in it. Truck has a tree. In peace to this young gentleman. Look at this one. This truck's got some apples in it. That's very nice. Angel statue. Oh, some really nice graves under the main tree here. Look at these. Very cool. There's some World War II vet. Look at that. You put the house right on the stone. That is cool. Like this little American cross here. Very nice. Nice bird here. Beloved husband, father, brother, son. G-paw friend. You will be missed forever. Cool. Let me show some of these really old stones over here. Not that big of a cemetery. So let's check it out. See what we got here. Probably our last cemetery on our American trip. This one. But there's going to be another trip put into the works immediately so I'm uploading all of these so more to come I like this stone here That's something. some of these stones look like they're about to fall over can't even make out a marker they're so ancient try to find some really old years let's put this one <laughs> named poor you glance at it, it looks like poo that's poor in 1886, his wife. And George P. Poor died in 1907. Look at this old stone here. This one here, since 1833. 1833, look how it's angled. Another poor. Another poor died in 1881. Working our way back here, there's a big open spot in the middle of the cemetery. Some little stones here. I can be able to read these from this side, I guess. These. Oh, did you even see this one? This one's right into the ground. I wonder if that fell over one day and then just is now stuck into the ground? I don't know. Love these sacred stones. Hard to read. 1887. Samuel Goggin died 1875 in his 80th year. 1887, 1879. These little tones barely sticking out of the dirt, eh? Look at that. Look at that little tiny one. Someone died in 1882 here. Age 32 years. 
just like to see if I can find the oldest stone I can find. This one. This one. This little black one. 1887, I believe. Tiny little stone. Look at this one here. Just lays down. Okay, we're gonna head to the back now. And a couple at the back here. 1967. Big stones. Straight to the back 40. Look at this one. Got Nora E. Wheelie S. Here. Yeah, I like this. These types of black stones. Has another stone leaning up against it here. Probably fallen from another time. 1898. Oh, look at this one. My cat and I are judging you. Cats all over here. It's a cat lover. These are some of my favorite of the old stones. 1818. That might be the oldest one. Look at these ones. Leaning up against each other. Falling over. Falling over. See this one? 1848. The other one. Maybe it was a full stone. Now it's in three pieces. This one right here is really cool. These tiny ones leading up to it. 1882. All right, working our way back to the front of the cemetery. Let's take a look at these stones. Wow, this is probably some of the tallest stones in the cemetery over here. 1849. Wow, look at these. I think this was September 11th, 1879. Their own personal 9-11. This is a very, very tall stone. Wow. That would be the tallest one in the cemetery. It's slightly taller than me, actually. Yep. Wow. Wow. Yep. Love trucking around really old cemeteries, especially ones here in the States, because you see all kinds of crazy little decaying stones like this one. An animal or something on it. At least it broke off, 1860. Jonathan Smith died, 1856. Hands. If you like graveyard tours, stay tuned to the channel. Wow, this one fell right out. Look at that stone. Right out. Fell back. Jeez. Celestine Man. Oh, Celestinal. Wife of W.M. Man. No. Yeah. Final stones in the cemetery are just over here. These three way off from the rest of the cemetery. See what years these were put here. Why they're so far off from the rest. 1810 is one of the oldest stones in the cemetery. 1883. And this one is 1879. So, wow. Wow. So this is one of the oldest stones in the cemetery right at the head of the cemetery. 1810, that little stone. All right, gotta push on then. Take a look here. It's beautiful little roadside cemetery. Forest behind it. It's worth a stop, worth a stop. Gotta include a little cemetery action. Oh, we leave the US of A, Pine Grove Cemetery. We're in Amish land. Maybe it's an Amish cemetery. 
got the sunroof going here. Shine it through. It's taste test time. Got a little mini chocolate moon pie and a vanilla moon pie. doing cow just watching some passerbys eh he's big you guys are just taking a rest from your grazing huh gorgeous farm out here thanks again for coming along everybody on these journeys much more to come please like please subscribe never know what we're gonna be doing here you never know where we're gonna be on the mr. Thrasher show unless you tune in if you're new here, subscribe and I'll let you know when a new episode goes up. Come on, gals. You want to come with me? I'm going to bring you back to Canada. Come on. Come on, gals. Yeah, I see you. Say, no, no, we're fine here. All right. I'm going to push on if you don't want to come. If you want to stay, eh? All right. Enjoy your peace out here. It's a good, fine place to be. here at a really cool church in this Amish community. There's a giant bell up there. Maybe we'll see it better from the other side because there's a church across the street. Yeah, we're around this Amish community today and figured might as well check it out. This one's abandoned actually, so no one attending church today across the top. Can't really make out the bell up there, but Bombay, New York. It is Bombay. Amish community. Roman Catholic Church, circa 1905. Boarded up. Hey, bird. What you doing, bird? Just admiring the abandoned church here. Good shot of the bell. And that church across the way, too at this church over here there is a nice good bell up there I always want to get the bell there she be there's the ringer Take to the ball at the top try to find a year when this church was built gotta include some church and cemetery action I don't know what this is Ah, no, it's just an old sign. It was a sign. Some of the stained glass is... It looks like it's got boards behind it. Very cool. Of the white part up there. There's a water tower just over here that I'll get as we're heading out of town. But if I come over here, to get an even better shot of the stained glass and this bell. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a heck of a bell. Pretty cool to see a lot of these monuments. Look at this one over here. It's sweet. I'm talking about this one. Look at this. It's crazy. Look at that. That's something. time try the white moon pie I believe uh, chocolate's good but I haven't really tried white you see the water tower over there pretty cool pretty cool mm. I like the white disrespectful to eat the cemetery oh Ooh, I like the white. Ah, I like the white moon pie. Very cool. That stone there. Gonna have a little snack. We traverse around here quick. Look at this white one. This one here. The white is good. Not room for my moon pie. You are so cute. I'd walk around real quick. 
Not as many ancient, ancient stones as, well, they are. 1872. Not quite the look we were getting in the last cemetery, but pretty cool. One of the final stops today, rocking a moon pie, looking at some stones. Hmm. I was just gonna walk the perimeter of the cemetery. Yeah, most of the really old stones would be down here. Good moon pie. Hmm. Very cool. This one fell over. Wooden cross there. Mm-hmm. Is a hillside cemetery. That back corner. Of that water tower. Yep. Americana, baby. Americana. Wow. Far back portion of the cemetery. Bird blew up over here. 1852. This is cool. Very old stones over here. See this open up here. See the water tower. Get a shot of that on the way out. Heck yeah. of stone over here we gotta show. That one's pretty big. Perpetual care. Look at this one though. This shield's grave. There's one solid block right here. Look at that. Impressive. Heading back toward the church now. This one, perpetual care. It's perpetual. I always love these ones. Old looking. Yeah, white tree on there. Cross. 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 All right. We're gonna take our exit. Cool cemetery. Cool day. Really great weather. Had to get a couple cemetery jaunts in and get some church action. Showing you things you probably don't see. Maybe you've never been here. This Amish town in New York. Not too, too far from Malone. It's great stuff. I shot church here. Well, I guess that's not boarding behind the stained glass. It's just how the stained glass looks, which is pretty cool. All right, moving on.
concludes this road trip. The East, US, much more to come. Next time we hit the US, this is the border crossing right here. And now we're back in Canada. Thanks again for joining in, everybody. Might have to stop at the duty-free shop. Might have to stop at the duty-free shop. We'll see you next time, everybody, on Mr. Thrash's show.